Hello there, my name is Jason Schmaltz, and today I'm going to share with you uh, kind of a cool topic, which is my ultralight uh, trad kit. Uh, over the years, when I've uh, done backpacking, uh, I've gotten into doing like what's called fast packing and really trying to go really light. Uh, so I've, I started to do the same thing in climbing, uh, not so much when I'm trying to do a difficult climb or like a big climb, but more when I'm trying to do uh, maybe a set of climbs quickly that I've already done. So I've already got some beta on the routes. I kind of know what the belay stations are going to be like, and I'm most likely doing it with a partner that's also pretty experienced. Uh, this is really good if you're trying to set some type of speed record, whether personal or an FKT. Um, I kind of got my eye on a couple um, uh, courses locally uh, for FKTs in the fall, including uh, what's called the Limville Crusher, so I'm pretty excited uh, to try that uh, with this light kit. Uh, so the goal is definitely to have uh, as much gear as you need uh, for all the situations that you might potentially be in, but then nothing more. So uh, let's kind of see what that looks like. Uh, and I'd love to hear your thoughts uh, if you've ever kind of shot for any kind of speed records or FKTs, uh, what you see in my kit that may be lacking or I might have too much of. So let's start with the fun stuff. Uh, first thing that I have for my kit is um, a full set of cams from uh, 0.3 all the way up to 3. And this is, uh, this could potentially be trimmed some if uh, the routes I was doing, I knew I didn't need um, maybe especially like a number 3, because that's, the number 3 is about 30% of that weight. Um, but anyway, this is normally, you know, for any routes that I'm going to do speed, you know, your kind of average 5.8, 5.7 type stuff, uh, you're going to need at least one of all these sizes, okay? Um, and then uh, that weighs about 2.07 pounds. So I weighed out each one of these things uh, so you can, you can kind of see uh, exactly what I'm dealing with. And then the second thing I have is a second set of cams to serve as doubles in the 0.3 to 2 range. Okay, so again, if I know the routes I'm doing don't need two number twos, uh, man, I can save a lot of weight right off the bat. Um, normally, always going to go doubles in the finger slash small hand sizes. Uh, so, not really going to ever get rid of the grays, uh, purples, or greens, or even reds. Maybe um, might drop a 0.3. But I'm not so, I don't have as much scrutiny on a 0.3 because it's so much lighter. But this is going to be my normal placement. And normally when I'm going for a speed record, um, whether it's, again, PR or an FKT, um, I'm not going to place anything except cams. And I'm probably going to place them pretty far out because I've probably done the route before. I most likely have done the route before if I'm trying to go for speed. Uh, so I feel pretty comfortable with the climbing. And I know exactly where I'm going to place. I know how the anchors are set up, so I know if I need a little bit more if there's not bolts. I will take a small nut set, so I, uh, I have these Wild Country Ultralights. Um, I cut the set in half, so instead of 10, I have 5 here. And uh, that goes um, kind of as a backup for like bail options or if I need something special. I, on a, I hardly ever place nuts, and I'm definitely not going to place nuts on something that I'm trying to go fast on. But I like to have uh, a couple nuts just in case uh, I need them. Those nuts are 0 0.37 pounds. So with the ultralight and then going to the half set, um, it gets pretty light. So I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm okay with, with bringing that along. Uh, the next thing I'm going to use uh, for my uh, ultralight uh, setup is um, three uh, locking carabiners. So I have one full HMS locker, okay? And then I have a second, um, almost as big as that HMS locker. This is a little bit small. This is a Trango, uh, I think it's called, called Reaction screw gate. I can't remember, but uh, anyway, this is their lighter kind of I-beam style locker. Uh, I'll use this for, um, uh, clothing in typically um, the bigger full-size HMS I'll, I'll normally use for my uh, ATC guide and then um, and then I have a small kind of uh, D uh, locker 
um, <clears throat> that will be used uh, for either my ATC guide for belaying or for my third hand for rappelling. Uh, those lockers, that uh, set right there, so three lockers is 0.48 pounds. Now you might look at that and say, wow, three lockers in, a full, in the whole kit? That seems like not that much. But um, what I found is um, there's never a time when I'm, I'm doing a single operation that requires uh, more than three lockers. So those will be used interchangeably. For example, I would use um, all three of those potentially, at least two of them for repelling, um, but they would be the same lockers I would use for belaying from the top as well, right? So I'm not gonna repel and belay from the top at the same time. So I would interchange those, um, you know, accordingly. Speaking of repelling and belaying, the next set of kit I have is my ATC and uh, kind of repel kit slash prussic kit. So I have two prussics and then I have a 120 uh, centimeter sling here. Um, this 120 centimeter sling will be uh, grouped with my other set of slings on my belt. Um, I'll only uh, belay with the ATC guide uh, because uh, again going for uh, light, uh, a light kit so I don't want to bring an ATC and a Grigri. So I know I'm going to use the ATC in repelling. Um, so I'm not going to bring a Grigri as well when I can. I know I can just belay with this. So um, these Prussics, I'll just uh, girth hitch to the back of my harness. And then the ATC, I will uh, just go ahead and attach uh, in conjunction with its lockers. So I know I'm going to have it in guide mode with the small uh, uh, D-shaped uh, locker, and then an HMS carabiner will be what's used for the rope uh, going through the ATC uh, because that's the smoothest, that's gonna offer the smoothest belay. So that Prusik slash guide, or uh, ATC guide kit is 0.39 pounds, okay? And then um, I have my non-lockers, and sling kit, so this is gonna be used for anchor building. Uh, so I have one 240 centimeter sling, one 120 centimeter sling, both Dyneema, and three non-lockers uh, that can be utilized for various anchor builds. Um, I'm probably not gonna need all three non-lockers, so a little bit redundant because uh, if I am making anchors, I'm probably gonna use cams, the, the carabiners that are already on the cams, or if it's bolted belays, I only need two of the three. So uh, that's kind of useful. So I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, put the other 120 centimeter sling, the nylon one for my rappel setup on the same non-locker as my Dyneema one uh, so that I can use them while I'm climbing. I'll then use that nylon 120 centimeter sling for my rappel setup and I've showed that in uh, similar videos where I'll extend the rappel um, with the 120 centimeter sling, have my third hand, and then have my um, carabiner uh, that I can use to clip onto stuff. <clears throat> so uh, the non-lockers in sling kit is 0.45 pounds, okay? And then the last thing that's gonna go on my kit is um, alpine draws. So I have here uh, four alpine draws, which again, you may think is uh, kind of skimpy, uh, and if I was doing an on-site or a harder climb, uh, that would be correct. Um, but when I'm going for speed, uh, first of all, I'm not placing a lot. And second of all, if I'm going for speed, I shouldn't be placing a bunch of draws and extending them. You know, I should be placing minimal draws where needed, uh, basically to maybe get around an overhang or something like that. Um, I shouldn't be placing a bunch of draws and extending them because that's going to just eat up a lot of time to rebuild those or clip them back and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so those four draws, um, they could be a little bit lighter. I don't have the lightest non-lockers on them in the world, uh, but four uh, 60 centimeter Alpine draws uh, is uh, 0.7 pounds, okay? Uh, and that's kind of the last part of my kit. So you can see as I zoom out, um, my harness is pretty... Um, clean, uh, pretty uh, lightweight and efficient. And that's going to really help me to be able to make, uh, to move quickly up the wall, to make big moves if I need to, and to feel really fast and light. And additionally, if I'm doing something like the Linville Crusher, 
where you're climbing and then you're hiking and then you're climbing and then you're running and then you're rappelling and then you're climbing. This is a lot less to clean up. It's just a lot less items. And I can clean them up real quick, throw them in a pack or whatever I need to do uh, and then keep moving. Um, so, you know, again, um, you know, I know uh, when it comes to kits, people can be sensitive on, on what they have. I want you to understand this is a kit for a special case. This is for going fast. This is for climbing with someone else that's experienced. It's probably got a little bit of anchor building uh, and slings on their harness as well. I wouldn't, I haven't built this kit to cover both me and my friend. Uh, it's only to cover, you know, my uh, share of the load of climbing and anchor building. So. If you copy this kit, make sure your friend has a similar kit that's especially got the slings and lockers uh, because there's only enough on this kit, you know, to cover for you. Uh, additionally, uh, something to note, you know, there's not a lot of extras on this kit. So if you're going on a route that's more than, you know, two or three pitches and you want to have some bail gear or you want to have some stuff that you know, hey, in case I drop a locker or something like that, I want another one to back it up. You may want to carry an extra, you know, small uh, carabiner or something like that, um, you know, just to, just to have that, you know, just in case. Uh, I wouldn't climb a, you know, I wouldn't climb anything probably over five or 600 feet with this. I'm, that's just based on my skills. Uh, so, some of you might. Uh, but you know just make sure that when you're building these light kits although they're fun to do and you can go fast um, you know you, you want to make sure that you know you've addressed kind of contingencies as well uh, but hey I hope that you got some information and ideas from that um, and hey if you have some ideas for a fast light kit uh, I am training for some FKT type runs in the fall so uh, we'll see what happens there, but hey, leave something in the comments. Leave a tip for me, and I'll let you know what I think. Hope to see you out on the crag. Have a good one. <clears throat>